Welcome back YouTube, my name is uh, Dark Guardsman and we'll be testing in the mop cage again. Last time I showed off my iBots which will be an addition to the uh, GSM mod series. So be hostile robots and I'm going to show off some of their advanced, well, at least one of the advanced functions I'm working on them. This advanced function will be formations. Now right now I'm doing it through a basic block which I'm getting ready to place uh, so they don't collide with the ceiling. This uh, block right now tells them where to go. Later it'll be an actual robot will sit in the center of this replacing the block and it will move and follow things and pretty much act like a normal entity. But for now I've got a block which makes things a lot easier for me because it doesn't move and I can sit here and I can click it. You see we already got one, one bot and you can tell from the lines that they're connected in this formation it, the more bots I add to it the, the more it changes. Right now there's two so you only get to see two lines and it does this little loop-de-loop. -loop. I've got it set up to rotate around the z-axis you get three we get this uh, three rotation here you see they'll still they'll still shoot fire and attack Y in this this mode. I'll be changing that so that they fire as one and you see why I was worried about yeah they they tend to collide with a block bloom. You, you get five rotation. The ideal is to have them rotate in this formation when the player is becoming too aggressive for them to take down. And that's in cases where the player will be wearing machine uses power armor, where these bots have difficulties taking that person down. So they'll move into a formation and they'll fire all at once. And instead of applying five damage each, they'll apply like 50 damage to the target at one time. And I can take this rotation, by the way, up to just about any size I want. I've got it blocked at like 10, just so it doesn't get outside the, the size of the mob cage. As I really don't want these things to be floating around because it'll kill everything out here. And I, these things are a little bit difficult to kill. I, I'm, trust me, I've been shooting with missiles like all day. I might have to uh, nerf them down because they're getting to be a little bit too powerful. <clears throat> but uh, this is the f I've been working on this rotation code for like the last two weeks. Finally got it perfected sometime today, where the radius was being a little weird and it was staying to be about one block in size. But I've now got it working really well, and you can see they're rotating really great in the, the Z axis now. When it actually comes to the the real way they act, they'll only be rotating around the center of the circle in a horizontal fashion, which horizontal, in case nobody actually knows, is this way to this way. And the Z axis, which is what rotating right now, will only be used to rotate the face of the target, as well as the X axis, which will be in another direction. The Y axis is the one that they'll really be rotating around. They'll rotate around the circle to simulate that they're flying around the center point to give it a better feel. Right now, they're just kind of their position is being reset rapidly to make sure that they stay in that spot at all times. I haven't quite shut down their flight code all the way yet, so that I could actually tell them to just be where they are at. For now, I just have to permanently set their position and actually get them to where I want them to be. But, uh, yeah, right before we go, let's turn on the my mob grinder, which yeah, so I've, been, I've been playing with this all day. Talk about you haven't seen Dev and TV watch a thousand mobs spawn in the game. I mean, the Ender Dragon can't even stay up against one of these formations. I was playing around the end. I, I'd be in the end right now if there was an end left. Uh, I was playing around and testing antimatter bombs for Calclavia to see if they were functional. And they are. And there's no end left now. But, uh, yeah, these, these work really well. And then I'm going to get them set up so see where the red line is. All these are designed, that will later be designed when I finish it, to shoot their laser into the center and then another laser will be coming out of the center to hit the target, so they'll fire as a one instead of independently like they're doing right now. Though the independent fashion makes for a nice rapid fire mob destruction. Let me shut this off. Let me shut that door. Yeah. I did figure out by the way you can crash your Minecraft world by just sitting here and spawning these nonstop. How many of these do we got going here? Let's see if I... let's try to max out one real quick. 
Oh yeah, I already think I maxed out the limit of 10. Yeah, these will, this current block setup here will suck up all bots within 100 blocks until it meets its quota of 10. I kind of got it set up in cheat mode, that way I don't really have to worry about anything. Later it'll have to do line of sight, communication, formations, and it'll even determine HP, because I mean, if you shoot one of these and kill them right now with formation, the formation size is going to change. It's not like there will be, it'll still think that bot will be where it's at, it'll actually die. But that's all for today. Hopefully by the time I make my next video I'll have these independently moving around and be able to show you them shooting the large laser.